Yeah, well, basically, um, we want to do a bit of a, a Christmas interview, if you're up for that. Oh, okay, sure. You know, because um, obviously it's coming up, so I've got some uh, some questions prepared for you. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so first off, um, yeah, what are your plans for Christmas? Are you doing anything special? Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm very excited about it. We have the Thanksgiving holiday here coming up on Thursday, okay. but I'm, I'm actually going to Canada and uh, I normally would go either back to Michigan and be with my parents there or have a holiday here where they might come out or we go somewhere. But uh, this Thanksgiving, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not going to see my whole family, uh, but I am excited, of course, to be going on tour in Canada. Um, but that makes Christmas that much more exciting because I've been waiting that much longer for a family get together on the holidays. Um, and I'll be going to Florida. Okay. Uh, Orlando, Florida, an amazing, one of my favorite towns, uh, to, to spend uh, the time with my brother and his uh, family that lives out there. Okay, that sounds great. Are you going to visit Disneyland while you're there? We know we did last time. We went to Disney World, and it was the first time I had ever been there. I'd been to Disneyland in California many times, but Disney World is uh, like 10 times the size, and was quite mind-blowing, quite fun, and I would like to do that. Um, there's a lot of attractions, as you're aware of, uh, yeah. in Orlando, so we'll definitely do something. Okay, that sounds awesome. Um, we, were, we were discussing <laughs> earlier about, you know, everyone has the traditional Christmas uh, dinner, you know, yes. with your turkey and everything. Like, what would you say would be the ultimate Christmas breakfast? Is there anything particular, oh, wow. you think? Yeah. Um, you know, I like very savory breakfasts, um, but I also do enjoy uh, pancakes. So I think it would be, um, for me, a combination of the best pancakes. My, I, I think my mom actually makes extremely good pancakes okay. in that they have a lot of flavor. Um, you know that flavor of butter on bread and then you grill the bread and, and the butter grills and it gets this certain salty kind of, uh, there's a slight charred taste to it. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for, and um, I would want a big, big pancake uh, supper, a uh, breakfast, pardon me, coupled with um, sharp, mature cheddar cheese, okay, egg, uh, scrambled egg, um, bacon, um, sausage or bangers. Um, and I also would like to have uh, something very spicy, whether it's hot sauce or hot peppers okay. uh, or jalapeno or something. Um, that to me just sounds fantastic. Okay. And I actually haven't eaten yet today, so <laughs> this is really building on my appetite for the, my next snack. One of our readers, Chris Locke here, wants to know what your favorite Christmas song is. Yeah, I was just thinking about that uh, last night because uh, I was thinking about um, another rock and roll Christmas. Uh, the Gary Glitter tune, I was thinking about I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day, which I think is a wizard mm. tune. Um, and then the Slade song, uh, So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's having fun. I think that might be, as far as a rock Christmas song, that might be my favorite one, the, the Slade, Slade tune. Because we, we did think that you would do the best cover of Feed the World. I know, oh, I, know, uh, I know you did it with, with Fucked Up. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Um, but that, that was, was huge. A lot like, of people. Yeah, it was a lot more mellow, that version. But we think if you did it in your traditional style, maybe in the style of something like Ready to Die or something like that, it could be quite impressive. Well, I appreciate you suggesting that, and uh, I'll take that to heart. I actually um, have many for many years been dreaming and plotting um, about doing an eventual uh, Christmas album of original Christmas songs and classic Christmas songs uh, that I'll perform in my, like you're saying, in my style. And I, I also got to give props to Christmas carols and holiday music in general. It's been a big inspiration for me. There's just something about that cheerful excitement um, that those songs are meant to create. Even songs like Jingle Bells or uh, 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 Dashing Through the Snow, No One Hurts, um, uh, Rudolph the Reynolds Reindeer, um, Frosty the Snowman, um, of course, Deck the Halls with uh, Bounds of Holly, la, 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 la. all those songs have these incredible, uh, tremendous melodies. Uh, what's the best one? The Come All You, come all you Faithful, that yeah, was incredible. Yeah. Um, Go Telling on the Mountain. So, anyway, I, I grew up with that music. We'd actually listen to it year round, 
because it was just such good melodies. And then when I was learning how to play guitar, that is how I learned, was trying to figure out Christmas uh, melodies, because it's something that I, I knew by heart and didn't have to listen to. It could just be in my head, and all my friends knew it, so they could play along. Um, and it certainly had a big impact uh, and influence on a lot of my music. It, it, I don't normally realize it, but when you bring it up, it, it's true. Like, Ready to Die yeah. has sort of a Christmas sound already. It does sound a bit festive, now, you, now, you, now you've mentioned it. <laughs> it really does. Yeah, it is, it's a festive <laughs> approach to music. That's good. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Well, you know, picking favorites is always very hard for me, but one of my favorites, um, you know, just like one of my favorite Christmas songs is Slade's fantastic song. What do they call that song? Uh, the Slade one. Um, that's so here it is. Merry Christmas. Christmas, everybody. Is it Merry Christmas, everybody? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, the verses on that song are amazing, too. But as far, that's just one of my favorite Christmas songs. And one of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, you know, it's interesting. Uh, a lot of... Christmassy movies might not necessarily be centered around Christmas or plotted like a Christmas plot, but I end up thinking of them like Christmas movie because they're cozy in some way. Uh, like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, that's a Thanksgiving movie, but it still has like a Christmas spirit to me and this wintry feel. Yeah. Um, and in that also, like, <laughs> you know what? They're all John Hughes movies. Home Alone uh, has that feel. Now, that one really is centered around Christmas. Uh, Uncle Buck. Yeah, Uncle Buck. Amazing. Amazing. You know, film. That's another good one. And I think that's another John Hughes film. So he definitely uh, was obsessed with that that aesthetic of this 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 archetypal family in a, a perfect house you know, with a perfect holiday and maybe something imperfect that happens along the way. Um, but it is, it's very appealing any time of year to think about the, those kinds of films because uh, even if you don't have a family, you could watch Uncle Buck and, well, I guess either be very glad that you don't have a family around because those kids kind of cause trouble and Uncle Buck is a bit of a handful, but he also has a very big warm heart and that's what you want out of family is just a lot of heart. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Fully agree with that. Um, okay, we, we got a couple of uh, scenarios, uh, Christmas scenarios. We want to know what, what you'd like to what you would do in, in these situations. So, um, okay. first off, it's um, Christmas Eve. Uh, you've forgotten to buy any presents and all the stores are closed. What would you do? Well, I've, I've been in this situation before for various reasons uh, and I've ended up making a gift. Um, some of them better than others. It, it, of course, comes down to the amount of time that you put in to making some gift um, or even a really well-written card. But even if you just make your own card and do a drawing on it of some sort and, and, and just try to put some thought and care, it, that usually comes through. And I think probably my most successful gifts have been something that either were along the lines of something I made or something that definitely expressed that kind of thought and care versus maybe a really fancy gift or a gift I thought someone would like um, because it was, I guess, a, a typical gift like you know a bottle of something to drink or a sweater I mean, those are great gifts but the ones I really remember were usually something that I made and oftentimes did so because I ran out of time to buy something okay um, if Santa got gunned down in a random gang fight would you take over and deliver all his presents <sighs> I mean I I would try I, I, I could see maybe getting to three or four houses depending uh, how far apart they were. I guess if I focused, for example, on Manhattan, I could get a few blocks um, of presents delivered, but it seems like a, a tall order. Mm. It's clear that uh, Santa is, is, is somehow bending time uh, or, or traveling through wormholes, which is a theory that other people, I, I think, have, have, have proposed. There's, there's Physically, there's no way this man could be in that many places at once unless he was um, you know, bending the laws of physics, which he very white he, he very, very white, very right, very well right, maybe very right, well, maybe, something like that. Bloody well right. <laughs> okay, well, it, here's another scenario. You're, you're drunk on Christmas Eve. Um, you get a little bit too drunk, and in the morning you feel absolutely terrible, and you really don't feel like eating. But obviously, by the afternoon it's Christmas dinner. Do you confess that you're too drunk? To, you know, you've been too drunk to eat it, or do you just drink it out? You know, eat and drink out politeness. I don't ever remember a time when I had a hangover 
that made me feel like not eating. It's usually been the opposite. <laughs> um, and I've also been very fortunate just to not get hangovers that frequently. Uh, but if it happened, um, I think I wouldn't want to uh, nauseate anyone else with the idea of not feeling like eating. So I would probably keep quiet just out of respect. But if someone asked me and maybe they were offended why I wasn't eating the food they prepared, I would say because I'm going to fucking puke. Yeah. And then hopefully then they would have some some empathy for me. What do you personally want for Christmas? Uh, I think actually my wife and I, Sherry and I were just talking about things we could get for each other because um, I don't know, we, we we don't buy a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I don't know if I could pack any more stuff. In, I'm looking around at my house right now. It is full of stuff. And a lot of it is, is related to work. It's equipment and things like that. But um, buying things, I don't know. We, we we haven't gotten into it that much. So more it's been like going out to a certain restaurant or taking a certain trip or investing the money in making a music video or you know buying some new piece of gears. It's all, we like experiential um, gifts. So in, in that way, I think we'd like to go to a very, very, very nice uh, dinner together. That would be all I, I would want. Other than that, maybe, um, I was thinking a new Rolls Royce Phantom. That would be good. Would be, yeah, either a dinner or that. <laughs> I think that'd be really good. I also just like to say, just so it's recorded, that um, all the rumors about you being multiple people, I've met you multiple times and you're just definitely the same person. See, so, there you go. <laughs> that is proof. Um, it, it, it's on know. record. Feel free to use that whenever you need. <laughs> it will. I, I appreciate your support in that because it has been frustrating. Obviously, I, I, I made some mistakes about how I've handled it. It didn't help. But uh, yeah, I, I, I am the same, you know, technically the same same individual. And, 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 and it is true that the, over all these years, the times that we spent together, the, that's the proof that anyone would need. Um, is there any last messages you want to send out to, to any of your fans or anything? Or any, any last things you want to say? I just, yeah, I want to say that I'm amazed uh, and blown away every day that uh, I get to keep doing this and it's all because of, of, of you. Uh, and I mean that to you, Chris, and, and all the people that have uh, supported this feeling. It's not so much supporting me, it's supporting this cause, which I happen to also work for and believe in as well. And it's, it's, it, it's, May have given me an incredible life and an incredible adventure, and I, I, I just want to keep giving uh, more of that power back through the form of this partying and uh, this 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 entertainment. Uh, and I'm just very excited about the the future and, and very grateful for the past.